it is absolutely criminal that I have these golf clubs still in the wrapper in 2022 because they could be the most underrated irons of the year. So let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, that is right, I think I have the most underrated irons of 2022. These are actually quite forgiving as well, guys. These aren't players' irons, and I almost got fitted into them. So get in the comments below, what do you think these are before I go out and play with them? If I can get this off. Actually quite harder than anticipated. And the funny thing is, guys, a lot of people are using these irons. A lot of people got fitted into these irons, especially in the longer clubs. If people are looking to maybe split the set to have bladed short irons, and then these in the long irons, I'm going to hit it and then I'm going to tell you what it is, guys. What can we shoot around the handful of holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club using... I was going to ruin it for you then, but I'm not. These lovely clubs. Oh, that is just so easy. Why aren't these in my bag? So easy. Oh. So, guys, they are, of course, the Mizuno Pro 225 so these used to be called the hmb realistically i always think of them as the hmb and then the blade is the mb and the cavity back would be the cb or the cmb but look where that came out of by the way can we just have a moment's appreciation for that strike off the first tee guys get in the comments below and leave us a like for that as well because even the tee is exactly where it should be now let's go and uh, i'd say find it but it's in the middle of the fairway and let's go and see what can score with these irons and if you're using these irons comment below and let me know what do you think to them and if you're not using them comment below and let me know why and you see the reason for me why i think they are potentially the most underrated golf clubs of the year is because yes they are forgiving yes they do look absolutely glorious even if we do look at this pitching wedge now and again it is criminal that these things are still in the wrapper and i haven't tested them properly it's even more criminal i can't get that off there we go but they are versatile as well as good looking, as well as forgiving. And they're not too mega strong lofted either. So this is a pitching wedge. We've got about 80 yards here. The ground is burnt out. We'll try and just see how versatile this can be. Play it down there, a couple of bounces down. Should still grab a little bit once it gets to the green. And guys, if we come down and have a look at this club head now, you'll see just how good looking that looks. The top line looks incredible. The bottom line looks incredible. And blade length is absolutely glorious. You would not think that is a mega forgiving iron. I don't think so anyway. Right. Come on. Under par with HMB 225s. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, delightful. Now sit. So probably a little bit overzealous there. I landed it too close to the flag. You can see the pitch mark here and it has, it has stopped quite well really. So pitch mark just down there now. I'm gonna have a chip and again, I'm gonna test the versatility of these clubs with the pitching wedge. I wouldn't usually use such a low lofted club, but Chris always tells me I should. So let's even get up and down with this now. The big thing is the feel. I've done so well to make these clubs feel like they do. See, that even checked up nicely for me. That is a wonderful shot. Let's roll that in, hopefully for a par. Wasn't expecting that to check as much as it did. It felt really soft, it felt buttery soft. And that's a four, and we move on. Two nice shots, really. Now, I keep saying that Mizuno do exceptionally well to get these clubs to be as versatile as they are, to feel as good as they do, and be as forgiving as they are. So if we take a look at the forehand, you'll see they are a hollow body construction and they're actually quite fat if you look at them that way but any other way that you do look at them and they really don't look that bad whatsoever can we play a nice low bullet down this fairway and get it chasing even though these clubs are designed to get the ball airborne with ease almost like a bit of a stinger they do actually a driving iron as well guys mizuno which does look nice as well not quite as nice as these in my opinion Not quite as low as I would have liked. It's like an arrow, it's going dead straight. That's not too bad at all. So interestingly as well, the big drawing point to these irons is forgiveness. However, I've played a couple of really good shots so far. I still get that nice feeling. I still get that performance. 
but I'm actually looking forward to playing maybe a couple of bad shots and seeing just how much forgiveness you can get with these clubs, guys. For me, if you can make golf more enjoyable, if you can make golf a little bit easier whilst loving the look of your golf clubs, we're all winners. So perfect shot down here, just shy of the bunker. And actually I didn't strike that four iron as well as maybe the first tee shot. You can tell there with the two tee marks, the middle one's the first tee shot, that's the second shot, but still got two nice feeling shots, still two fairways. Now let's send that pitching wedge in again. See if we can hit the green this time. Quite a tough flag to get at, about 120, so a nicer distance. Send a nice low shot in there. And what I've just said there has actually made me think I'm using forgiving irons. I'm using game improvement irons almost and saying I'll send a nice low one in there. Does that make sense? I'm not too sure it does. I'm even thinking about working it in a little bit right to left, which is crazy for this level of club. Like that. Go on, get up. And you can see there, guys, that's actually stopped on a dime for us there. It's left us with quite a approachable put let's see if we can get under par with this video he's got using the mizuno 223s i got fitted for the 223s but matt at mizuno did actually say this green's actually just been watered i can tell that's why we got so much action matt did say have you thought about the 225s and i thought no not really and i probably should have thought a little bit more about them they do look good in the bag and perform ah oh, but they don't hit putts for you that was never the right line or the right pace still level par so not really too many mistakes yet in today's video i'm actually playing quite solidly i feel like but i do still feel like i'm getting more forgiveness with the 225s than the 223s that I usually play. Very similar to the Tacomos actually, that I've been using the 101Ts. So I might do a video comparing them, but for now I've got two scorable holes left. Let's see if we can get under par. Right, 150 yards, par three. This is an eight iron all day long. And again, every time I get a club out and it's got this wrapper on it, I just feel really, really, really bad that I haven't tested these. Uh, the joke of not being able to get the wrapper off is now weighing wearing thin so interestingly enough we are into the wind i'd be tempted with my clubs to maybe take a seven iron try and keep it low chip it down there almost i think a full eight with the 225 probably gets us there that wind's getting up actually now this is going to have to be a good one big high draw i think try and get it moving towards that left hand flag that was heavy but that's there go on that I've gotten away with that. That wasn't the best strike. We're going to have to fill that in. That was uh, not the best shot, but we managed to maintain a bit of ball speed and hit the green. I don't know how close that'll be. If that stopped dead, it might be short, but hopefully, I'll even give this a clean. Hopefully it's run out a little bit and we have another birdie chance. I can't believe how well, <laughs> I honestly can't believe how well that's done. That's incredible. I don't know what to say. Literally, I've duffed it to five feet with the H 225s. 225, James. The whole thing about golf is when you get away with a good, bad one, we take advantage. Come on, flag out. Pay this some respect. Oh, tell you what, two's... We entered, guys. We paid two quid. That should pay for a sandwich after the round. Let's see if we can finish off with another birdie on the drivable par four. So this is another one of those tee shots where, to be honest, I realize I've stuttered there quite a lot. This is another one of those tee shots where really, if I can play it low, keep it in play, it's that time of year you don't even need to play a kind of big full shot, just chip it down there. And these feel that forgiving and versatile. Guys, let's play a bingo count. How many times have I said forgiving and versatile in this video? and just play that stinger like that you would not even think these are designed for like more forgiving shots but i'm uh, i hold my hands up not very often i feel like i make a mistake but uh should have tested these a long time ago
Now, I think that's fair to say that is another centre cut ball. And what I'm trying to do here is just keep it simple. I'm not trying to overthink the golf course because you can't do that this time. You, you can't do that when it's running, when it's fast and when the wind's up like it is today. We're in the middle of the fairway, we're one under par. We've got this shot to potentially put it close and try and get two under par with irons that I'd never really thought about using because I'm not going to lie, I thought they maybe looked a little bit too big, a little bit too cumbersome and I didn't think I needed the forgiveness. Um, we could end up looking quite silly if uh, things go to plan on this hole. We haven't got far in again. I'm really enjoying using this pitching wedge for these shorter shots. We're going to land this way short and just run her in. Like that. Oh, take that bounce right. I cannot believe that's not gone right. That's exactly how I wanted to play it. Hmm, we might have this club again. Well, I cannot believe that hasn't taken a bounce to the right, but you see how we're exactly flag high. I've judged that pretty much to perfection, I will say. So can we chip in and get two under par for the opening here at Woolly Park Club using only the two five irons? You know, whenever I do these tests, I always score better than if I actually just come out and try and play the golf course. This one has to be delicate. Turn, turn. Oh, so close. Well, guys, I'm going to give myself that for one under par here on the opening holes at Woolley Park Golf Club using only the Mizuno 225 irons, potentially the most underrated irons of 2022. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button below, and I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.